everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm excited to show you guys a new product, but recently, the last couple of days, I've been super busy putting the Land Cruiser back together. If you guys know, I'm working on a 93 Land Cruiser, fixing the top and rebuild head gasket timing chain for a client. And I'm almost done with that project. Uh, I'm gonna give about another three, four days. We start to do some buttoning up. But in the meanwhile, I have some new stuff that came in. For the last five plus years, I've always aired up and aired down, or at least air up my tires when I go off-roading, etc., etc. I had the Vier 88P, and it's a little small compressor. It takes about almost 25 to 20, 25 minutes just to air up my tires because I gotta do one at a time and it takes forever. I always thought about buying a more bigger buyer, but those things cost 300 plus dollars. And then I recently just heard about this air compressor. This one used to be called the Maxi, and then it's the Napa now, and then there's also a few other, um, other brands that they slap on. But this is the twin compressor from Napa. It costs about 180 online, but then I was able to get it for 120. Um, lots of ways to get good coupons and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into that stuff, but this is the famous air compressor, twin air compressor. Lots of good reviews on it, so I'm not gonna give you guys all the details. Let's go ahead and open it up, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do um, while I'm still waiting for some parts. Super excited, haven't, haven't touched it yet. Oh, and also, this is just one of them. For some reason, I went ahead and ordered two. I might keep that as a backup, or I might give it away, who knows? One thing is that this thing is heavy. It's way heavy. I should have brought you guys my other compressor, the Vier 88P, and show you guys the difference. But this one is super, it's not super heavy, but it's definitely, it has some weight to it. Heavy duty 12 volt air compressor, 12 volt, 100, uh, maximum 150 PSI, continue and use 15 minutes on uh, 90 amp, 1.4 horsepower, blah, blah, blah comes with cables and all that stuff. We're gonna do some modification to this and I'll talk about that in a bit. Has a little nice baggie here, which is super sweet. Oh man, so excited. I'm excited because I heard so much good stuff about this and I'm just so excited to air up my tires much faster now. Has a big old cable. This is for airing up. Has a lever right here. We'll put the bag away for now. Damn, this thing is huge. Super huge, man. I like it. I can see why it's heavy duty. It comes with some um, some fittings. These are uh, fittings where you can air like basketball, football, and balloons and stuff like that. We're not gonna use these, so we'll probably just throw that in the bag for now. This thing here is gonna be strictly for off-roading or for airing on my tires. Damn, this thing is nice. Let me just check it out real quick. Holy smoke. All black. All right, let me just take a quick look, man. So it has two cylinders, and that's what makes it strong. Super simple, not that much labeling. Cables looks good. I'm just doing a quick inspection because this is my first time. So people were complaining how these things slide out so fast. They slide out really easy. I'll probably go ahead and put some glue on it. We'll probably go ahead and upgrade this cable to a heavy, heavy duty cable like a um, four gauge or six gauge and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this and build a um, quick disconnect and also a um, pressure switch I'm not gonna go to details about what those things do and what they are uh, If you guys are into this kind of stuff, you guys know that what those things are really. And if you guys don't know what those things are you guys can research because there's tons of videos on it already but man, this, this one came in, this one has a little small dent right here, but it's all good. That's why I ordered two. It has a nice platform, I love that. Super sweet, I like it, man. This right here plugs into here. That's sweet. Oh, that's nice, a quick disconnect right here, guys. So it's like that. But we're gonna get rid of this. This is the air hose that comes with the gauge right here. And we're not gonna use any of this right here because this is junk. Yeah, this stuff here is junk. So this air hose here, we're not gonna use it because this air hose, you connect it right here. <clears throat> and then this stuff here, you have to screw it onto your valve stem. And it's super annoying, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna build a four-way um, tire inflator DIY 
This is the Flexzilla 50 feet core, 50 footer, quarter inch. These are the reusable fittings. We need four of those because on each end that goes to your tires. And then we have a few, few things. That's the, um, that's the pressure switch. And then this is the quick disconnect. I got two of them because like I said, I got two of them. Bunch of fittings. Uh, my own gauge. I'm gonna, sh I'll show you guys um, this on a separate video. This video here is just to show you guys a little bit of the unboxing and what I'm gonna do. But once I build my DIY, um, full weight inflator. I'll show you guys that but super simple super self-explanatory I'm still waiting for some more parts. So I'm not gonna build it yet until I get all my parts in This is a three-way manifold So three-way manifold we're gonna mod this so that this has a um, a Gauge like that and then it has two lines going out and then you have your on off switch right here and then also this plugs into the air compressor so I'll show you guys that on my other video, my next video. And then I recently just bought this crimping tool, which is really nice. I don't know why this whole time I've been using hose clamps. I'm probably never gonna go back to hose clamp anymore. I just bought these crimping tools and it works super amazing. I just use it on my garden hose and it works great. And I'll probably gonna start using these guys. So that's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm super excited for this because like I said, Airing up has always been a hassle. Every time we go off-roading and it's time to air up, I'm like literally sitting there for 25 plus minutes. Um, it takes about five to six minutes just to air up one tire from 10 PSI just to like 25 to 30 PSI. Super, super long. This air compressor with the four-way, um, <coughs> the four-way uh, DIY, the four-way inflator, this thing will air up my tires from 10 PSI to 25 PSI, which is running for the street. It should do that in about five to six minutes, which is amazing and crazy. Of course, it's gonna take a bit longer. You know, it might, might take me like five minutes to bring it out, connect all the hoses. But once I flip the switch, five minutes, six minutes, it'll be done. So this is gonna cut my time in half. And when I'm offering with other people that don't have air compressor, I can probably also help them and air up their tires, stuff like that too. So I'm super excited for this. So that's just a quick video of the Napa Twin <coughs> Air Compressor. And again, I ordered two, another one's on the way. We're gonna do the same mod for that. I might keep one in the house, keep one in the car, or I might just give one away, or I might just keep one for backup because they're such a good price. I got them for such a good deal, and I think everyone should hop on it. But once I get the rest of my kits here, I'll go ahead and build my DIY. Uh, inflator and I'll show you guys that on a separate videos and then on that video we'll go ahead and do some actual musing we'll go ahead and air my tire down I'm running 38s on my Land Cruiser I want to do one where I air it down to 10 and then go back up to 25 see how fast that is and then we'll also go ahead and air it down completely zero and we'll air it back up to like 30 just to show you guys some demonstration so hope you guys enjoy stay tuned follow the Instagram 90 new underscore far four I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.